Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain would like to draw the attention of all Bahraini citizens currently in the Republic of Sudan to the need to register their personal data at the Kingdom's Embassy in the Republic of Sudan in order to facilitate communication to ensure their safety and to provide assistance in case of need. Accordingly, citizens are requested to contact the Embassy of the Kingdom of Bahrain in the Republic of Sudan to register the data on the following numbers. Or contact the follow-up office at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, which operates 24 hours a day. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs also calls upon citizens wishing to visit the Republic of Sudan to postpone their trips until further notice. Based on the Ministry's concern for the security and safety of citizens in the Republic of Sudan, it stresses the need for permanent communication and joint cooperation with diplomatic and consular missions to ensure better and more effective services to citizens. It should be noted that Bahraini citizens in the Republic of Sudan can view the latest developments by following the social media accounts of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Kingdom's Embassy in Khartoum. The Kingdom of Bahrain joined the countries of the world in celebrating the International Earth Day, affirming the great attention it attaches to efforts to protect the environment in light of the intensive efforts to preserve environmental security from the constant risks and challenges in this field. World Earth Day, which falls on April the 22nd every year, celebrated by the countries of the world with the aim of increasing awareness of the environment and its preservation by reducing pollution and paying attention to the problems afflicting the planet to provide a healthy and safe environment to achieve world stability. The theme of World Earth Day 2023 is Invest in Our Planet, calling for businesses to shift towards sustainable practices. Yes, it will be a continuation of the successful 2022 campaign. This movement is expected to change the business climate, the political climate, and how to take action on the climate. To achieve this, the Kingdom has established many institutions, governmental agencies and committees interested in developing programmes, policies and strategies aimed at achieving sustainability in its various dimensions and has enacted a number of laws and legislations related to sustainable development applications which have become an international demand in light of the economic, political and social transformations that the international community is witnessing. The Kingdom of Bahrain has ratified more than 40 regional and international conventions, treaties and protocols concerned with protecting the environment and achieving sustainable development, which confirms the seriousness of the Kingdom of Bahrain in fulfilling its responsibilities towards protecting the environment locally and internationally. During Eid al Fitr, the Kingdom of Bahrain is witnessing a remarkable recovery in many sectors and a remarkable turnout for shops, restaurants, cafes and entertainment facilities by citizens, residents and visitors from abroad who are keen to highlight manifestations of joy on this happy occasion. The Kingdom of Bahrain is an ideal tourist destination for Gulf and Arab families to spend the Eid holidays due to the variety of activities it provides and the facilities that meet the requirements according to the highest standards in various sectors thanks to the implementation of the goals and pillars of the tourism sector strategy, which translates into the success of qualitative initiatives and programmes, which was recently inaugurated, which made the Kingdom the perfect environment and destination for everyone to spend their good times in light of the atmosphere of Eid. Tourism, commercial and recreational facilities of all kinds in the Kingdom are witnessing a great demand through its keenness to provide distinguished activities and various programmes that create high competitiveness to suit all ages, to attract visitors from inside and outside the Kingdom. These relentless endeavours made by the Kingdom are reaping their fruits today by achieving the desired prosperity and development. Positive in the various tourism and recreational activities, thanks to the focus on enhancing the importance of these vital sectors and increasing the contribution of non-oil output to the gross domestic product. Bahraini sweets are among the most popular sweets that Bahraini society and visitors accept on special occasions and holidays. Bahraini sweets still maintain a position among the variety and multiplicity of sweets in the commercial markets. An indication of generosity and a connection with the Bahraini people with their customs, traditions and way of life. New Bahraini houses devoid of hospitality are the so-called gado and Eid, which is characterised by the presence of popular sweets, such as Bahraini sweets and rahash along with matai and soft nuts of all kinds. 
For the days of Eid, the markets are full of receiving requests from customers by displaying abundant quantities of sweets, especially Bahraini sweets with multiple colours and a distinctive aroma. The Saudi Foreign Ministry said more than 150 people, including foreign diplomats and officials rescued from battle-scarred Sudan, arrived in Jeddah in the first announced evacuation of civilians since fighting began. The evacuation was carried out by the Kingdom's naval forces with the support of other branches of the army. The ministry announced the safe arrival of 91 Saudi citizens and around 66 nationals from 12 other countries, Kuwait, Qatar, the United Arab Emirates, Egypt, Tunisia, Pakistan, India, Bulgaria, Bangladesh, the Philippines, Canada and Burkina Faso. The ministry said the foreigners included diplomats and international officials without giving further details. The evacuees were received by officials and soldiers who distributed sweets on the occasion of the Islamic Eid al-Fitr holiday. Kuwaiti Foreign Minister Sheikh Salam Abdullah Al Jaba Al Suba telephoned his Saudi counterpart, Prince Faisal bin Fahan Al Saud, voicing sincere congratulations on the successful evacuations by Saudi ships of citizens from 11 countries from Sudan to Jeddah. Sheikh Salam Al Saba expressed Kuwait's appreciation and gratitude to the Saudi Foreign Minister for the Kingdom's efforts to ensure the evacuation of Kuwaiti citizens from Sudan. Sudan's army chief, Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, has called for dialogue to bring peace in Sudan as fighting persisted with rapid support forces, the RSF, on Saturday. In an interview with Al Arabiya TV, al-Burhan said, The biggest loser in this war is the Sudanese people, and all parties need to sit as Sudanese and find the right way to restore hope and life. He added that living conditions in Sudan are deteriorating and that he shares the international community's concern towards Sudanese citizens and their welfare. Earlier on Saturday, al Burhan said, the army is coordinating with countries to help evacuate foreign nationals as sporadic gunfire and airstrikes echoed across Khartoum. al Burhan accused the RSF of initiating the attack, reiterating that the army has staged a counter-offensive. He said the RSF has taken civilians as human shields and have positioned themselves in residential neighbourhoods throughout the capital Khartoum. Abarhan said the militia attacked shops, banks and government institutions. However, the army has gained control over almost all the airports in the country, except for Khatoum Airport and Nyala Airport. He reaffirmed the army's commitment to completing the transition to a civilian government. <laughs> 